What's going on guys, it's Mesma here and welcome to a brand new video. This is just a quick video that will cover um, the fix of the Razer Naga Epic Chroma. So, um, if any of you guys have this mouse and you're experiencing the exact same issue where uh, basically you will get the mouse and you will uh, be able to drag and then see how it just lets go randomly. I'm sure any of you guys that are watching this video that have come here for the fix experience this issue so many times and it is really frustrating. When you're trying to get that chicken dinner in PUBG, when you're just trying to play any kind of first person or even, uh, you know, MOBAs and stuff like that. If you've got to hold left click or do anything like that, it is insanely, uh, insanely annoying when you'll be halfway through trying to get a kill um, and you're, for instance, aiming down sight, you've got to hold right click or something like that. If you're holding right click, it'll just let go of it randomly. Um, but you can see it doesn't happen all the time, like at a certain time, it can just happen intermittently. So I've actually narrowed this down to a very simple issue. So the problem being that when it's on a thousand hertz, it's receiving actually too much data for the poor cabled version to handle. So because the cable is still USB 2, in 2017 that's not acceptable for, for a Razer mouse. I think it's more the fact, not, not that the cable is too slow to get the data through, I think it's more the fact because it's removable, I think it just actually can't keep up with sending that, that amount, of, uh, amount of refresh uh, rate for the mouse, like the amount of data that it's sending um, you know, per second kind of thing. So very super simple fix change this from a thousand to five hundred the issue never happened after I did this and this is this is after sending this mouse away for a good uh, three to four weeks um, being at Razer and it coming back and and they say look we couldn't find the fault but basically uh, the mouse is working perfectly fine um, but have a new one anyway so they, they sent me a new mouse which which was good but I got it home instantly it was faulty it was still doing the drag drop thing like like this kind of thing um, but yeah, obviously now I can I can hold it and it can it's perfectly fine on 500. I will mention though, um, it does feel like it's a bit more sensitive just because it won't be as smooth because uh, like the the thousand hertz as you'll be able to see when you swap this here it looks a bit smoother, but then you change it to 500 and it's completely uh, whacked out. So I play on high sensitivity anyway, so I'm I'm pretty used to it. But yeah, hopefully that fixes your guys' problem. Um, I really wish Razer would just do like a, a firmware update to fix this uh, or whether whether it is an unfixable thing, they should at least do like a recall of specific models that have this issue because this is really frustrating because not only does, uh, it works perfectly fine in wireless, but not only does it fail in wired, you can't use the mouse uh, for such a long time in wireless anyway. You, you get probably about three hours of intense gaming out of it. Not only that um, is... Once it runs out of charge, you pretty much got to use wireless anyway. And if you, if you do want the best experience, you want to be able to use it wired no matter what. So you shouldn't have to be, you know, lowering settings or anything like that. But this should help if, uh, if you ha are having any problems. Yeah, that's all you need to do is literally go in, change the polling rate in uh, under performance. Change it to from a thousand to one uh, to five hundred or one twenty five. Either way, uh, both of them should fix it. But yeah, um, if you have any issues, yeah, leave a comment um, down in the uh, in the comment section. Um, give it a like if if it helped. But yeah, um, it's coming up to that time of the year, so I'll be making heaps of videos uh, very soon. We've got uh, Call of Duty coming out very soon, so I'll be doing the NAT type opening for that. So uh, if if uh, you do have terrible internet and and you need to try and connect to your friends, then yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, this is Mesmer and I'll uh, catch you in the next video.